everyone welcome to my channel today i will be talking about the most powerful and important dax function and that is calculate function but before discussing about calculate function i think it's very important to understand the concept of filter context in power bi so let me first explain what filter context is and then we'll discuss about calculate function so here uh, there are two tables i have taken one is orders another one is date and these two tables are connected through one to many relationship let me first create a card visualization i will take total sales from this so this is the total sales right now there is no filter added to this visual so it is basically showing the total sales for all the product let me create a table view and add subcategory and the same total sales field that i have used here so now you can see that i have used the same field here in this visual where it is showing this number it's a, like a big number and then when i am pulling subcategory along with the same field the total sales values are changing so what does it mean it means that a single measure can give you multiple results based on the filter that you apply to it so here if you see by like row wise it is changing according to the sub category right so this is what filter context is so basically when you apply a filter so what power bi does is first it applies the filter to the main data source and then on the filter data set the calculation happens well this is one way of applying filter context now there are so many ways for example uh, this is at visual level right uh, you can use this slicers for example if you select 2013 or and 2014 you see the values are changing if you apply some month name the values are ch changing so this is also another type of filter context again you can apply some filters from this filter section as well like you can apply filters on the visual or filters on the page filters on all pages or even uh, through uh, visual interactions also you can pass filters basically there are so many ways i have mentioned uh, you can apply filter context to your measure now if you look at this visual right you will see by subcategory and then again by years the values are changing so this is also filter context because you are passing this filter first sub category then again on year it is getting filtered and based on that you are seeing the value now let's talk about calculate function calculate function is used to override this filter context that you are applying so what do you mean by override right let me first create a measure using calculate function so that it will be easy for you to understand so let me go to orders and then go to new measure let's name it total sales for example art the syntax of calculate function is first calculate and then you specify the measure on which you are going to apply the conditions so for example here my measure will be total sales and then comma and then you apply the conditions so for example let me uh, use a condition sub category equals to art so your measure is created hit okay now let me add this newly created calculate measure to this report so what do you see here whatever value you are seeing for art right this 3 lakhs 70 1000 something so that value is coming for all the sub categories so basically what it is doing is basically when you are creating a measure using calculate function and you are specifying the conditions that my sub category should be equal to art that means you are telling that i will not consider any other sub category value i will only consider art so that's the reason whatever value you see here for art so that is showing for all the records this filter that you are passing here that is overriding the filter context it is not considering any other sub categories it is only considering the sub category condition that you have specified here and likewise when you create a calculate 
function you can pass multiple conditions so for example let me uh, let me add one more condition so let me pass a condition on year so year should be equal to 2015 and okay so now you can see the value has also changed so how you can verify so if you select from here you see so for art this value is this 127000 something and that value is showing so even though you change the year for example to 2014 you still see the same value you have passed an additional filter here that it the subcategory should be art and the year should be 2015 but here we have passed 2014 so it is not considering this filter it is only considering the year filter that you have passed let's again go back to 2015 and select jan but now you see the value is changing why it is changing because you have not specified any particular condition on month name let me again go back to the calculation let me go back to total sales art and let me add another filter so my month name equal to december okay hit okay so it is basically showing you the data for december so let me again select december just for verification so see for december the value is 14290 7.68 and this is the value it is showing so even though you change the month name to some other month this will not have any impact on this metric because you are specifying the condition as month name should be equal to december so this is the power of this calculate function that it overrides the filter context here now you may think like where we can use this calculate function right so let me for that let me just create a matrix and pull year and total sales now you have a requirement where you have to show total sales for technology in the same visual how can you do that so basically the requirement is total sales as one measure and total sales for technology as another measure so for that let me again create another measure let's go to new measure i will name it as total sales technology and let's again go to calculate total sales comma category should be That's it. And let's add this to my report. So now you may think, right, we also can apply filter to this visual. But if you filter to this visual, what will happen? If you add category and then technology, what will happen is this filter will be applied to total sales as well. But I don't want that. I want by year what is the total amount of sales irrespective of the categories if you apply this filter category x technology it will not work out so this is one of the scenarios where you want to use calculate function so i am showing total sales i have not applied any filter and i am showing the total sales for technology and i have used calculate function for that again you might get another requirement for example the users they want to see total sales along with that total sales for technology and they also want to see the percentage of total sales for technology so for that again you have to basically leverage this measure that i have created and then you calculate the percentage so percentage of total sales technology and then i will use divide function and total sales technology comma total sales and i will add this so i will change this to percentage so you can see now you are able to show the percentage for total sales only for 
technology category in your visual. Well, so today I wanted to explain the calculate function with a very simple example so that you can have very basic knowledge on calculate function and how it works. Uh, in our next video, we will talk about all and all selected function, which are also very important functions. And when you use calculate function, uh, you should know about all and all selected functions as well. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. Thank you.